Hello together and welcome back. Today not in my hot art studio, today we are here in my other apartment. Um, yes, and you have seen my intro, my little longer intro today, um, that I will show you how I have created this pretty um, opal or aurora geode and for this. I will split the video in two pieces. Um, at first, I will talk with you directly here from my apartment and the other part, I will make some voiceover video again because, you know, resin and mask and talking is not so good. Um, yes, and at first I will show you what you absolutely need for um, the geo. This is this one. It is some translucent foil. I have um, found it on Amazon. Um, There are five big sheets in this package. Some foil sheets. Um, and when you put this out the package, then you have foil like this. And you can see it have a really pretty shimmer in the light but it is also transparent. And this one you need to create the opal effect. And for my project, I have, you can see it's really flat. And what I have do is, I have grabbed me this pretty foil and <laughs> make this with the foil that I have here more structure in it and yes I will show you what I have made then with the foil so at first you can see this is um, some old wood board um, where I have try to create some blooms that I don't like and so I have covered it with um, gesso, let it dry and then I have poured down some tiny little layer of resin, spread it out with the, what was this, silicone thing for the cake <laughs> and place now my a translucent foil my rainbow foil and as you see I have placed them and um, then it must dry so that you don't have any trouble with it so now the foil is placed on the wood board and what you need now is this one these are tiny glass particles that you can also find in structural pastes um, from Golden. They have also this in some mud gel mixed and make some structural paste. And so I was thinking um, why I don't make not my own paste or whatever. Um, you see in the video I have from this one um, fill up some cup, pour resin on it, a white tinted resin, um, mix this to a fluffy paste and create then some interesting crystalline parts. 
but you can also use when you don't can find this glass particles in your art store you can also use from the aquaristic store from the fishies the tiny little white stones but when you use this you must wash them before you use it with resin you must wash them they must dry and then you can mix them in resin and the next option what you can use when you don't find this and when the fishies don't want to share the stones with you then you can also use salt but not the regular tiny salt the bigger salt um, mixed with resin and white resin paste and then you have the same and you don't must be scared about it because you mix them all together and all the salt particles are covered with resin and don't soak water out of the air and nothing is melting. I have seen this uh, in many other videos and I have tested this too and it works really good. So again to the back, uh, again to the back, <laughs> back again to the video. <laughs> So here start now the part where I create my fluffy structure paste, my resin paste. And you can see I fill up the cup for a half with the particles and then came on it directly a good zip of white tinted resin. And then I placed all on my parts where I will create um, the interesting parts. You see it's very easy. I used the mixing stick from fluidart.co for it. Um, this is good to spread out the paste and bring some structure in it. And it is a little bit longer building process because I, wa uh, I was looking for 3D effect so I I go directly next to the edges and create here for more dimension a bigger crystalline part and yes here you can see how fluffy it looks it's a little bit like melted marshmallows I believe yes and then came the crystals in it here this is my resin my own created resin crystals with the foil in it and this is the thing you must look how you like it and place them directly into the paste and yes when you place the crystal on some place and see then later with not looking pretty mm, you can push uh, place them at the other side or other part then here have, see that I have um, use some glass glitter for extra sparkles and now my real quartz crystals you see it next here directly Ooh, pretty so now you have see I have created my crystalline parts with the glass particles and the resin fluffy paste and have placed there my crystals. These are um, real quartz crystals and self-made resin crystals where I have in the mold. Also use this foil okay. a little bit. And for this, I have rolled these little pieces. Uh -huh. Now, come on. I have rolled this together that I have here some little foil sausage. Wait. 
like this. And this I have placed in my crystal mold and pure, really soft tinted um, resin with TLP Velvet, Pinot Gris and TLP Comet. Pour this in my uh, crystal mold and mix this with clear resin so that we can, you see it later in my video, um, that you can see the shine from the foil again in my crystals because I find it's very cool when you have in your complete um, geode many highlighter points where you every time can find the same products like the foil or like the glass particles and also things and yes this uh, really important thing for me that I have or that I use um, same products and the same artwork so that is all similar and looks harmonica and yes this was the fluffy resin paste and again back to the fluffy resin paste we have now um, placed the crystals there and for extra shimmer and shiny spots on it I have used this and spread it out, uh, spread it over the wet um, fluffy paste. And this is diamond dust. Um, you can see it in the tin is really sparkly and catch the light. And when you have this on your geode or at your fluffy paste parts, <laughs> It's really pretty shimmery, believe me. You need this one. And this is from Flora Croft. Yes. Now back to the creation part and to the voiceover part. Yes, again, the pretty few with my fluffy paste, the crystals, the glitter glass. And now at first I start with some gold resin also gold tinted resin and for this i have used some float gold pigment that's a metallic pigment and when you go over this metallic pig pigment with a torture or a heat gun then you bring all the gold particles at the top from the resin and see then um the pretty gold shimmer directly and you will see this in a few seconds i think wait 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 uh, i working too slowly that i talk here um when i realize in the video that i oh here came the heat when i realize in my videos that i talk too quickly then i will make some music in the video so that it's not so boring Ooh, it burns um, yes here you can see how the gold came at the top and it's really pretty so the gold line is placed and directly next to the gold line i have placed some clear resin um, that you can later see the translucent rainbow foil to create the opal effect and here the next layer is um, TLP velvet, TLP pinot gris and TLP comet mixed uh, in this cup but not together I have filled this in the cup and at first I think it was velvet then a layer clear resin then again pinot gris clear resin and comet and clear resin go slowly with the steel stick around the one time around the cup and pour this out so that you don't have too much mixed together this colors 
and more um, disinterference parts in it. Here I placed my um, acrylic crystals. It's not real crystals here because it's really heavy from the weight um, with the <clears throat> fluffy paste that I have created. So I was thinking, oh, uh, no um, mirror glass and more acrylic crystals. Not that it break. This is the other side from my um, geode. You can see I have placed again at the line the TIP interference line, then again some clear resin and then directly next to this line um, the gold. Um, yes, you need every time when you have some place where you will that you can see the foils and you must place there the clear resin and yes this is the gold we see it gold came to the top it looks all pretty and again a layer of the interference piggy line it's really looking pretty um in the video you don't see um so good the shimmer from all these piggies in it um, from the velvet comet and pinot gris but in real you can see it so good and it looks so magical fantastic really you must test this when you like to create geodes then try this out really it's so amazing and now here's the dried side and i have speed up this video because i realized that i have used too much gold so i create with clear resin and with white tinted resin and again clear resin some another lines and also my piggy line and create here more dimension in it um yes because i have realized it's too much gold it's well too heavy from the space place whatever and i want to have there a little break so you can see in the piggy line how the comet came out okay this part is also dried and now part two of the fluffy paste will start um because I start here to create again with my paste. Um, yes, it's remind me a little bit of a druzy and yes, I create some druzy inlay with the resin fluffy paste, I will say. And this process is a little bit longer and so I think uh, I will speed up the video. So this was now the resin creating part and the last part, I don't have filmed this, um, but what you need for the last part is many pants and you need this to create your um, lines. Um, in oh, at the surface of the last version layer and it give the geode more dimension when you create some little soft lines and my favorite brand for this is really 
um, postcard pens. Um, they have the postcard pens in different sizes and different colors. Mm, I love this really. And metallic pens. I have tested so many metallic pens. We have here in Germany some brand that's called Edding. Throw it into the trash. You Edding is the last. Um, what I have found is this brand. This is Deco Color Premium Primer Premium. This is some really pretty chrome shimmery metallic pen. You can find this in gold and silver and copper and rose gold. And I have tested the gold one, the silvery. Um, you can see the silver one in my video on Instagram. I have created some big double geode and yes they are really pretty and shimmery shiny i love them and yes this was uh, from me and with my geode video tutorial i hope you like it and when you like it and you know give me a thumbs up leave a comment and when you have any questions or create your own geode um I would be happy when you tag me there to show me what you have created and maybe I have some pretty tips for you or can uh, see some what you have created and learn from you some tips. I think we are a big family and share all tips together. And so why not tag me if you want and best greetings from Germany, my friends.